This video will help familiarise you with the XQP30 through XQP500 rental generator sets to aid starting and stopping the rental generator. Warning, this video does not replace the Operation and Maintenance Manual or OMM. You should read, understand and follow the OMM. Only qualified users should install, maintain and operate the generator. If you are uncertain or do not understand any information in the OMM, contact your local CAT dealer. Before starting the engine, ensure the unit is in a stable, level position and has adequate clearance on all sides. Use the procedures described in the OMM to perform the required daily and other periodic maintenance tasks. Perform a visual inspection of the unit. Look for proper oil level, proper fuel level. Inspect the fuel system. Drain water from the fuel separator if equipped. Proper coolant level. Check the air cleaner service indicator. Debris buildup in the engine compartment. In addition, make sure that the ground terminal is properly connected according to site requirements. To start the generator, ensure qualified personnel adjust the frequency by moving the terminal in the control panel as outlined in the procedures in the OMM. XQP products can operate at 50 or 60 Hz. Ensure the circuit breakers are open, off. Connect required cables to the bus bar only while the product has no power source or is in a zero energy state and not running. Turn the battery disconnect to the on position. Press the run button. The generator set controller or EMCP confirms the engine is running and there are no faults. Allow the engine to reach operating temperatures, about three minutes. Use the EMCP to select the desired voltage output. Close the circuit breakers necessary to supply customer loads. Warning, do not overload the generator. The engine may shut down if it is overloaded. Exceeding the rated power of the generator can damage the generator and the electrical devices connected to it. Sequence load connections to prevent overloading the generator and engine by first connecting the load with the highest starting power requirements, followed by the second highest and ending with the lowest. Make sure the total power requirements of the connected loads do not exceed the rated power of the generator. To stop the generator, turn the output circuit breakers to the off position. Press stop key on control panel. Allow the engine to complete the cooldown cycle without load. After the engine has stopped running, turn the battery disconnect switch to the off position. Use the procedures described in the OMM to perform post-shutdown checks. Check service hour meter to determine what required maintenance tasks shall be performed. After the engine has cooled, check fluid levels and refill as necessary.